Now, a study conducted by the think tank Runnymede Trust shows that the UK's benefit cuts will have the worst effect on blacks and minority ethnic Britons, including Muslims. The study has revealed that minority groups are around twice as likely to lose out as white Britons from the Conservative budget unveiled nearly three weeks ago. The report says the budget will increase racial inequality with minority ethnic people worst hit by cuts to tax credits, new limits on child benefits and the lowering of the benefits cap. The report also warns that child poverty rates among minority ethnic groups may rise even more after the 2015 budget. Well, to discuss that a bit further, we're now joined by Mohammed Walji, Press TV's correspondent, who I believe is now joining us on the line from London. Mohammed, um, certainly a worrying time for minorities. Well, absolutely. This budget's come in at a time uh, where the Conservatives now have full control, essentially, over government. They're not held back by the Liberal Democrats, and we can see that um, their policy in the budget has definitely, will, or will definitely create more of a racial divide in the United Kingdom by making millions of people from black minority ethnic groups much poorer at a far faster rate than their white counterparts. Um, the Running Youth Trust, which is a racial, uh, which looks at a racial equality, I think that which looks at racial equality, they found that these minority ethnic Britons were twice as likely to lose out as white Britons from George Osborne's plans. And they've actually even asked the government um, to take the two... Um, create a sort of a racial equality kind of audit of what this budget will have on racial equality. Uh, they're calling it an equality impact assessment. Now, the Treasury has responded when they were asked whether it can any form of uh, research into what impact this will have on racial equality in the United Kingdom. So from that, we can see that the Conservatives haven't really, or it's not really um, uh, important to them to look at racial equality in this country. This uh, budget particularly actually affects British Muslims the most out of any of the uh, Brit uh, out of any of the British minority ethnic groups in the United Kingdom, and in this country, what we're seeing is we're seeing a rise of Islamophobia in many different areas, including in employment. And a study showed actually that uh, Muslims are more likely to be turned down for a job due to prejudice uh, rather than anything else, rather even if they are qualified for a role. And so you can see that there's, a, there's multiple things affecting Muslims in the United Kingdom and the government, the conservative government, are just handing more problems to them rather than looking at solutions to kind of create less of a problem with racial inequality in this country. Mohammed, uh, you know, as, as a multicultural society, wh what kind of pressure do such reports put on the government, um, you know, as a leader of such a society? Well, actually, uh, well, these kind of reports do pressure the government because it's so obvious see that the budget has had a negative impact on British uh, black minority ethnic groups in the United Kingdom. So we hope that the government will be pushed to do something. We hope that there will be pressure on them by people within Parliament and outside paying groups outside. However, we, it's unlikely that uh, it can have it will have a major impact because the support the general support that the Conservative Party have are from wealthy uh, wealthy individuals from white backgrounds. So these kind of impacts on black and minority ethnic groups don't affect them as much. So therefore, they're not putting as much pressure to make the change, to force the government to make changes, create a more fairer society. Okay, Mohammed, we'll leave it there at that. But thanks as always for your reporting. That was Mohammed Walji, who was speaking to us live from London.